I used to, that, you know what, that took me back, by the way. What? Of us when, when I would do the 9 a.m. show and we would pause and then we'd go yeah, to for the, bell. the market. And it's so, because what happened yesterday was at the opening bell, they have an auction that sets the opening prices. They call it the open cross or whatever. And it just didn't happen. And so suddenly you had these automatic um, canceled orders. You couldn't sort of set the price for the day. So it was a technical glitch that just caused all kinds of problems at the New York Stock Exchange day with all these earnings reports and so much news and right. concerns about recession. And then all of a sudden, you can't get opening prices at the New York Stock Exchange. It's a black eye for the exchange, it, for sure. It absolutely is. Okay, can we talk about Ticketmaster? Yes. Because apparently, in his favorite artist is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Listen. <laughs> I feel like their young staff might have been a part of putting that Wait, together as well. As the said. kids say, cringe. <laughs> Very cringe. <laughs> but in Western Live Nation. I think they're under a lot of heat right now. So we were just. Funny. Senator Blumenthal said this is like the one thing that can unite Democrats yeah. and Republicans. Oh, it was bipartisan, the only bipartisan thing in America at the moment. But you know what, what's interesting is if you can't underestimate the impact on this because the number with Harry yesterday right. we were talking about, there were people who said, well, StubHub. I like them. They do it pretty much right. But there's something about Ticketmaster so and their handling of this. Something that's that the company said. It, I mean, look, the company handled it so poorly. And these people who were in line with codes for presale and suddenly couldn't get their solutions could be maybe these presale tickets are not transferable. That's something they talked about yesterday. So that you don't have these bots and these resellers who control so much of the market. Another thing is revisiting the merger, looking back at the consent agreement, revisiting the merger and actually having the Department they, of Justice like make some 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 calls on whether this can be um, allowed here. But it was a huge fail. It also, I think, is reflective of the popularity of this new tour. I mean, they sold 2.4 million tickets just like Swift 2024. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. they did it swiftly. Wait. Sorry. Oh, nice. I'm like the lawmakers. <laughs> Next, before you go talk about the huge uh, Biden, the first time the Biden uh, administration under against charges against Google, explain why it matters. It matters because that argument, we're not doing anything wrong, so you can't punish us, you can't break us up. Of course, that's everyone's defense from right. the Justice Department coming in. The third in line is like Tencent and Amazon, and those are 40 and 30 billion. I'm just so fascinated by the way that sort of well, uh, lawsuit. They're even pointing out the Google executives have said, "Look, our business model is like Citigroup or, or Goldman Sachs owning all pieces of the of the business, and is that inherently anti-competitive?" Thank you both. Thanks. Appreciate Thank it. You. Good to see you.